Alright guys, we're back with another comparison. Today we have the Moto G8 Power versus the Moto uh, G9 Plus. So the G9 Plus uh, just came out in the US and uh, it'll cost you around 300 bucks. I'll put the links down below. The Moto G8 Power actually got a crazy price drop. You can find it as cheap as 170, brand new right now on Amazon. And I believe for the different versions, like for the US uh, model, it's 234, and then for the international, it's uh, again 170 or uh, 215, depending on you know which one you get or which color you get. So uh, that is crazy that this phone got such a dramatic price drop for it being so good. All right, so let's go over the hardware with these phones and um as you can see big difference and for you guys asking the g8 power is just as big as the g8 plus so this goes for the g8 plus as well it's got basically the same body as the um the g8 power and i have a unboxing of that on the channel the g8 plus and g8 power if you guys want to check those out um but as you can see they're both two plastic phones uh the g9 plus is really big and um it is a little heavy it's not super heavy but uh, definitely has a little weight to it this ha uh, definitely feels uh, more uh, light now uh, taking a look at the hardware basically the same setup here but a little different so you have the fingerprint scanner now it's on the power button and I love that move 100% I prefer that over the one being on the back because when you have this you know on the table you can just unlock it like that you don't have to pick up the phone to unlock it um, so you do have your volume rockers right here on this side you do have a Google assistant button and the G8 power is lacking that you also have your USB type C speakers at the bottom and what I love about the G9 Plus is that it's got the trendy up-to-date camera module. So as you can see, kind of looks like, you know, the Galaxy or uh, the iPhone, all that stuff. So I like that trendy design. It definitely uh, looks newer to me. Um, so they both are nice looking phones. They're both plastic. Um, the G9 Plus does have sort of a matte finish. So you won't see as many fingerprints as you will on the G8 Plus. Also, the G9 Plus does not have the water repellent uh, coating on here that the G8 Plus does. Uh, so, I guess if you get this one wet, it'll just, I guess, break. But you can get this, the G8 Power, uh, you know, wet in the rain and stuff like that. I wanted to submerge it. But let's go ahead and talk about the display. So, this is where the biggest uh, change came from. It's a 6.81 inch display on the G9 Plus, uh, 1080p display, 386 for the PPI. And on the G8 Plus is a 6.4 inch uh, 1080p display, 399 for the PPI. So, slightly higher. PPI, but um, just a massive display difference uh, here. Uh, if you don't like big phones, you are not going to like the G9 Plus. It is massive in the hand. I think it's just as big as the OnePlus uh, 7 Pro that I have that I thought was pretty big. Uh, let's actually see if it's as big as the V60, which is a big boy. Yeah, it's, it's as big. Yeah, look at that. It's as big as the V60. So this is a massive phone, guys. Alright, so as far as the display quality, uh, on the G8 Power, even though it has the uh, higher PPI, you really can't tell the difference here. They both uh, basically look identical. Um, you know, just the G9 Plus is just bigger. You do have the punch hole on the left-hand side on both of these phones, which I really like. It gives off a very immersive experience, which is something that I really like. But as far as brightness, color, uh, there's no real difference here from what I'm seeing. Alright, so both phones are running Android 10, and I do expect both phones to get Android 11. Uh, they both have pretty much the same features, basically stock Android uh, with the Moto app uh, on here. So you have your gestures, the same stuff, the chop uh, for the uh, flashlight, uh, the motion for the camera, all that stuff, the Google Now. Uh, page on here uh, everything you know and love about stock Android so everything is really clean uh, and fast on here which is something that I really like so let's talk about speed on both of these devices you have the Snapdragon 730G on the G9 with the Adreno 618 micro SD support 128 gigs of storage and 4 gigs of RAM 
on the G8, you have the Snapdragon 665, the Adreno 610 micro SD support, as well as 64 gigs of internal storage and 4 gigs of RAM. So you are getting slightly better uh, storage on here. Uh, they both have the same amount of RAM, and you have that newer chip the Snapdragon 730G. Uh, but let's go ahead and see how it performs in the real world and on some benchmarks. So let's go ahead and clear everything out. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Let's open up Subway Surfer. Again, it's gonna be faster on the G9 Plus. Slightly faster, not a huge uh, difference here. Let's try the YouTube app. Yeah, it's just gonna be slightly uh, snappier here. Let's try settings. Faster on the G9. Temple run. Yeah, so definitely this chip, and I've been telling people that this 730G chip is uh, pretty decent. Definitely a nice little budget chip set here. Try the cameras. Okay. So very fast on both. Let's actually Go ahead and run a benchmark, Geekbench, and see how well, see the difference. Alright guys, so as we can see, we get a slightly higher score on the G9 Plus uh, here. Uh, but again, as we saw with the real world performance, it's not going to be a huge uh, deal here. And you can see how it compares to other phones in its kind of price bracket now. All right, we got PUBG loaded up. Let's check out the graphics here. As you can see on the G9, as far as we can go is HD and high. On the G8, we can only go to balance and medium. So big difference in terms of gaming. Um, you can definitely tell graphic wise it's just more detail, smoother to play on. So the G9 Plus is definitely going to be the better uh, device for gaming, as you can see. So definitely, if you were you know deciding between these two phones, uh, the G9 Plus is going to be the phone you're going to want to pick up. And uh, you can play Fortnite on here as well. And last time, if I remember right, I don't think it's compatible with the... Um, uh, GA power or if it is it's going to be like very low um, settings it's going to be basically you're going to be playing at the lowest setting so uh, definitely for gaming you're going to be picking up the G9 uh, plus 100% now let's talk about these speakers so you do have stereo speakers on the GA power and you only have a single speaker on the G9 so let's go see uh, which one sounds louder or better Okay, so the G8 power is a little bit louder and sounds a little bit clearer, but uh, the G9 Plus has more bass to it, uh, which is something that I really like. So I really like that. You don't have, you know, the punchiness or the depth of the bass as much as on the G8 power. So it really comes down to, you know, what you want, but I definitely like the more bass uh, presence on my phone. So 
All right, before we get to the cameras, let's talk about some additional features. Uh, so both of these phones, of course, still have the headphone jack. Uh, you do have Bluetooth 5.0 on both of these phones as well. And you do have NFC on the G9 Plus and you do not have NFC on the GA Power. So if you want to do mobile payments on this phone, you will not be able to do that. And uh, as far as the fingerprint scanner, again, I like the one on the, you know, I like the one on the G9 Plus just because of where it's at, but they're both very fast as you can see. They both have face unlock which works very fast, but I like this way of doing it because I don't have to pick my phone up to do it, right? So it's just a little personal preference, it's not, it really comes down to what you like. Uh, but let's go ahead and talk about the cameras because I found this the most interesting here. So. Uh, starting with the G9 Plus, so you have a 64 megapixel wide and 8 megapixel ultra wide, a 2 megapixel macro and a 2 megapixel depth sensor, 4K video, 16 megapixel selfie camera, shoots 1080p. On the G8 Power, you have a 16 megapixel wide, 8 megapixel telephoto, 8 megapixel ultra wide. 2 megapixel macro 4K video, and you also have a 16 megapixel front facing camera. Um, the G8's power cameras are better than the G9 Plus in almost every test that I took. So you can see the photos side by side. I preferred the G8 power. The color accuracy was better. There was more detail and uh, dynamic range was better. I don't know what's going on with the G9 Plus cameras. Um, I don't think they're terrible, uh, but they definitely need to fix something because it might be a software thing so I'm not sure what's going on with this phone but it definitely seems like kind of like a downgrade um, but the video as you can see is much better on the GA power as well so I preferred everything the front facing camera all of it is better on the GA power to me so cameras I'm going with the GA power a hundred percent from what I'm seeing so let me know what you guys think about the photos. I thought that was pretty interesting. All right, so one of the cool things with the G9 Plus is that you have 30 watt fast charging. This phone charges extremely fast. You have a 5,000 milliamp battery and you can easily get all day battery life uh, up to two days if you're a light user on both of these phones, uh, but you only have 18 watt fast charging on the G8 Power. Uh, so I absolutely love uh, being able to, you know, you drain your phone and then you just plug it up and then it doesn't take all day to charge to charge is pretty fast that's something that I really like but as far as battery life on both of these phones you're getting two excellent uh, phones uh, so what do you guys think um, I know somebody's gonna ask it really depends on what you want so I like the G9 Plus I think the big screen is gonna appeal to a lot of people um, I think the better cameras are gonna appeal to a lot of people in the GA power especially at the price drop that this phone has gotten I think the chipset on the G9 Plus is definitely better you're able to play games uh, kinda at a you know medium to high settings uh, which is something that I like definitely better than the GA powers uh, processor so which phone are you guys going with be sure to let me know and I'll catch you guys in the next one